Donald Trump announced his bid for the White House on June 16th. Remember that escalator ride? Well, nine months Don't later, forget. he's likely closing in on the nomination. Here now is a look back at our analysis from day one compared to everybody else. People just don't remember how much of a joke, a total joke, Ronald Reagan was with the national media. Say whatever you want to say about whatever candidate. When, when it's this close, anything can happen. Who's in? What do you think? Well, a lot of people in the media may scoff at it, see it as a PR stunt, something like that. He's got a lot of money. He obviously doesn't give a damn what anybody thinks about him. And he doesn't play by the rules. You'll have everybody ridicule him and say, oh, he's, he's, this is just a joke, this is blah, blah, blah. And then he'll go to South Carolina. And he'll have a bigger crowd than every other established candidate. When he's on a debate stage, yep. oh. and he turns to Scott Walker or Marco Rubio or Jeb Bush, and hits them not with something mean-spirited, but searing and truthful that nobody else in polite political society would say, it can shape a race. Has and so all these people say. saying that he's going to have no impact, they don't get it. Einstein, it's great. what's so funny? I mean, listen, he, no one's doubting his entertainment value and no, the no, fact no. that he can deliver a We're good not. line and the fact that he might have an impact on a debate stage. That's not in doubt. But to say that that makes him serious is ridiculous. We've gotten to the point where a comical figure, no. a comical blowhard like Donald Trump okay. is conceivably a, Let a player. Let me wrap this. Everyone needs to stop overreacting to the line that he could have a serious impact on this race because, as you pointed out last week, he, he, he has the ability to liquefy people in one 20-second sound bite. Listen, I'm not sitting here saying he debated well. I'm not saying he'd be a good president. I'm not saying that, that he doesn't say offensive things all the time. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying this denial of reality by the mainstream media is actually feeding into Donald Trump's strength. Our big statement is that Donald Trump is not a serious candidate. We're saying that we will not participate in this sort of legitimacy of a fringe candidate. A guy that has a quarter of the vote is way ahead in Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina. He's not a French candidate by his very definition. Jeb Bush had Donald Trump's numbers, the race would be yeah. called over. TK over. over. Yeah. I don't understand the question when a guy's been at the top of the poll and he's been there for what, four months now? The question is, when will you decide to get out of the race? What? Maybe 100% of his supporters, but certainly the vast majority of them who go to these rallies, they are not going away. They are so not going away. So am I getting away. a truck? No, not, you're not going to get a truck. Everybody is waking up to the fact that he actually could win this thing. He can't. He's not going to win the thing, Joe. Well, well, we don't know whether he is or not. Donald Trump's strength, mark it down, is the deep south. Yep. If Donald Trump gets past Iowa and New Hampshire, he wins South Carolina by 20. He wins Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi. If you want someone to beat Hillary Clinton, it would be Donald Trump because he will do things that none of those candidates will do. I'm not saying it's good, and I'm not saying it's pretty, and I'm not saying it's right. But the Democratic Party has a problem if Trump wins the nomination.